asked you, how would you reach the ground safely from the sky? You would certainly ask, by using a parachute, isn't it? However, did you know that a gently swinging and falling cactus flower inspired mankind to solve that problem? Comparing the products that have contributed to the developing the field of technology, nature's products, such as plants and creatures, are significantly advanced in their own aspects. Scientists have now admitted that the best way to find answers for our problems is by studying nature. This unveiling of micro-secrets in nature to produce new creations is called biomimicry. For example, take the sky. An aeroplane that can fly higher than a bird is just like a giant student of a tiny bird teacher. Designers have utilized the shapes of the body, head, chest, and the unique shape of wings of birds to design aircrafts. Although an aeroplane can fly higher, it cannot remain stationary in the sky. When people questioned nature as to how this was, the answer came from the dragonfly. People identified the motion of the dragonfly's wings helps it to stay in one place, and they blended that secret to the helicopter. Taking one step ahead, the newest aim of scientists in Florida University is to study the flight of insects to develop an aircraft smaller than 6 inches, which can be used in warfare. A new walking stick has been developed using a bat's radar communication techniques. This helps people with impaired vision by detecting obstacles on roads and informing the user well in advance using radar technology. Velcro tape is one of the oldest examples of biomimicry. Velcro tapes are common in things that we use daily, like clothes and bags, and it is designed by studying the seeds of sticky grass. Though people see these seeds as a nuisance, Mr. George Mistral founded a business worth millions in 1951 simply by observing the seeds clinging to his dog's fur. He studied how the tiny hooks of these seeds cling to fur, fabric and leather. Japanese scientists studied the ability of butterflies to change the color of their wings and developed surfaces similar to them. It is another amazing creation of nanotechnology. It is not simply a painted surface, but one which is capable of changing colors by manipulating the direction of light reflection. Though not yet seen in our country, you may have come across it in the media. The high-speed electric trains or bullet train that are commonly used in countries such as China and Japan. During the era of development of these trains, the greatest trouble engineers faced was the tremendous noise generated by the compression of air while passing through the tunnels. Can you believe that the engineers found the solution by observing Kingfisher? The unique shape of its beak allows it to move quietly through the air as well as the water to hunt fish. Discovering this phenomenon, Japanese scientists produced the head of the bullet train in the shape of a kingfisher's beak. This gave the question a perfect answer. As an unexpected advantage, it added 15% power saving and 10% extra speed. more 
more interesting lessons from the dwarf termite. This is not about their unity, but the nest. The dwarf termite is capable of creating architectural air vents to keep their nests cool. Inlet vents are made lower to allow cool air in and outlet vents are higher to allow warm air to rise by convection. People have utilized the secret of dwarf termites to build mega buildings. You shouldn't be surprised if we call them termite nests. There are many things to learn from the behavior of small insects such as cockroaches. Famous scientists study them due to the possibility of developing technological concepts using these studies. The glass sponge is a creature that lives in deep seas and is made of a combination of weak chemical components but has a strong skeleton. Some might be troubled by the dwelling of pond skaters on the surface of water and another might be puzzled by the contribution of a shark's rough skin to its speed. They are keen to investigate those secrets because their curiosity will emerge as a new item of technology in the future. These few examples out of thousands of biomimicry applications have been brought to your attention because you too are capable of contributing valuable ideas to developing the field of technology. Mother Nature is the creator of this amazing world. From the beginning of this world, she has endeavored to find the most suitable and efficient answers and the results are still visible today. Can mankind ever challenge her? Practice and train yourselves to observe nature with curiosity. It is certain that you can retrieve new concepts that would direct technology to a new world.